this is my video and I'm just gonna left click and drag it into the work area right here or the timeline. The very first thing we should all do when we import the video is right click, go to properties and disable resample. Well, the next thing is to go to the gear icon up here for the video project properties. For the field order, we're going to leave this on none. Leave the pixel aspect ratio on one. Leave it on zero for the output rotation. This just rotates your video, doesn't really do much. The frame rate is of course going to be on 30 FPS. If you are close, let's say yours is on 29, just set it to 30, it'll be fine. It's not gonna affect it too much. Leave this on off, you don't really need to change this one. Pixel format, this is one that I found quite confusing when I first started. I mean, I've made a video on it if you like to see the difference between, but it will make your render time just so much longer. You really don't want it. So stick to 8-bit, 8-bit is really good for every video. Next we get to the resolution, just leave it on best. For the motion blur type, this one is gonna be on Gaussian or Gaussian, whichever one. Resample mode, once again, disable, you don't want it. Leave this one unticked, you don't really need to tick this one. In the audio tab here, not much you need to change. Go to this one, the master bus. Make sure it's stereo, leave it on zero. Make sure this one's on 48,000 leave it on 16 best and you can change where you want the location of recorded files to go by clicking on browse back to video the very last thing you want to do of course is set a name for it so 720p 30 fps is the easiest one to remember the best name really press save and that will create you a template which will be at the bottom now that you've done that you just want to double click in this empty area here go to view Go to window and disable preview, untick this. Go to file, render as. The one that I like and the one that I find is the best is main concept AVC slash AAC. Click on it and customize template. First of all, you want to make sure that this is ticked to have the video included. Leave the frame rate on default, which it should automatically set it to 720p. Leave this unticked, profile on high. Like I mentioned before, if it's close to 30, just set it to 30. Untick it if you want to, but I don't think it makes much of a difference. Number of reference frames is going to be on two. The next one is really good to have. This one is basically designed to focus on the pixelation so for example if you are struggling with your video and your video looks pixelated you want to take this one two-way pass if you're someone who has a faster machine you can take this so for the maximum one i'm going to leave it on 16,000, but i'm going to move the average one up to 10,000. the way it will work is that it will average at 10,000. And if it needs to, it can peak up to 16. You can either use your processor to render the video, or you can use other components such as your graphics card. If you're someone who doesn't have a NVIDIA graphics card, then you won't be able to do this. If you don't know which one you can use, you can go to system and check GPU. This will pretty much tell you if you can use CUDA or which one is available. In here you don't really need to change too much, just make sure that this is ticked, otherwise you won't get any audio. And go to bitrate, and if you're looking for high quality bitrate, then this one is the best option. And now we go back to the video tab. In here, give it a name and save the template. And that is pretty much it. That is my settings for 720p 30fps.